Morning, Slow Money Blue Live Nation. I am super excited to be back. Um, it has been a awesome summer. It's been a long summer. So let me just before we dive into this episode, episode 301, The Big Fish. So before I get started, I want to just let you know that it's been a great summer. It's and we're still in summertime, but it's been a great um, summer and preparing for season three of Slow Money Blues Live. I'm super stoked about what we're going to be bringing in this season. In fact, some months ago now, um, some months ago, I literally uh, basically did a forecast and a preview of season three. So season three is going to be awesome. It's going to be dynamic. We're going to be able to do some great things for a whole lot of people. And one of the things that I talked about is I talked about um, how we're going to create 1 million new business owners over the next decade. If you have ever met me, you know that I am always working on multiple projects. By the way, if this is your first time tuning in, my name is Doug, two-time combat veteran, and I'm at your service. I want to help you achieve this thing called freedom. Not per se financial freedom, but actually freedom. I want you to experience what it is like to get up every day and do your own schedule like you don't have a boss uh you can look in the mirror and say that's the boss and you can look at your smart device and you can say that is the boss so if you want to find out a little bit more about what we're going to be doing in season three actually just go to slowmoneyblues.com and click on the big link that says season three preview and it actually talks about what we're going to be doing in season three and we're really 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 excited now the podcast is always that basically wherever all great podcasts are heard, you can actually tune in and listen. So whether it's Spotify, Spotify Google Podcasts, or it's iHeart, wherever all great podcasts are heard, you can listen all the time. We publish our new podcast every Tuesday at 10 a.m. And I'm debating whether or not I'm going to be doing 25 episodes and also continue to do this in a live format because I am working on other projects. So you'll still get the same energy, you'll st still get the great information, you'll still get access to the great resources, stuff like that. And that's really, really cool because at the end of the day, my whole goal, whether I'm before you live or if I'm actually virtual or if I'm actually doing this in person because I don't know exactly where we are as it relates to COVID-19, I still want to give you uh, access to teach you how to build, launch, and grow your own personal freedom success system. And I am absolutely ecstatic and stoked about season three. So let's go ahead and get started. So before we get started, you know, we always have a poll. And I always ask you like, hey, did you did you do your homework? But man, episode 225, the week in review, I, I don't even recall what the homework was. But I can always assure you that one of your homework assignments is always looking to and seeking to optimize and automate your personal freedom success system you can never go wrong if you just simply do that so I'm gonna go ahead and activate the poll here and uh, I think you will be uh, kind of uh, excited about let me see where our poll is at it's always uh, kind of hiding out on a certain poll right there and the question today is how do you create small wins for your business. Now, if you've been listening to me for some time, you know that at the end of the day, in order for you to maximize building your personal freedom success system, you're probably going to have to turn that venture into a business. And if you've listened to us for the last two seasons, you know you're probably going to have to incorporate. If you have not incorporated, if you have not become an LLC or S Corp or C Corp, I highly recommend if you first start off just to go ahead and become an LLC that is a limited liability company and you can be a one person limited liability company the reason that I want you to do that is one it's it's super easy to manage and there's several people that can actually help you do it if you don't know how to do it yourself just simply go to our website slowmoneyblues.com click on resources and you'll see incorporate.com click on that banner and it will actually they will actually hold your hands and walk you through the entire process more importantly they will help you get all of the proper documentation that you need on a local and state level all by the way all LLCs all corporations are statutorily regulated 
So I want you to be in compliance. That's that's part of the you know the legal apparatus. Also, what a corporation affords you is it affords you the opportunity to have some protection, some some personal protection uh, from litigation because we live in a, a country and people do things and sometimes people like to sue us. All right. Whether we've done something wrong or whether they believe we've done something wrong, although we may not have done anything wrong. So you get that corporate veil. So if you have not done that, I want you to go ahead and do that as well. Also, another great resource that we have, if you go to Free Business Consult and you just don't know where to begin at all, go to Free Business Consult, pick out the consultation that works best for you. So whether you're a startup, whether you are an established business, established business probably been around for between two to five years, okay? And then if you are a nonprofit or all, if you need brand consulting, all of those uh, assessments are there. There is an application fee of $19.99. I highly encourage you to go ahead and complete that. Uh, it does a lot of great things for you as a business owner. It helps, one, give you absolute uh, focus. And focus just simply it allows you to remain firmly on course until you are successful. And success and winning are synonymous with freedom. And everybody wants to be free. So... Uh, before we hop into today's episode, last note, uh, our sponsor today is Linky. So if you love networking and you get out there and you know, you're meeting people and stuff like that, whether it's virtually or if it's belly to belly, if it's one-on-one -on, -one on a group setting or via social media, you can simply go and comp you know, you can, uh, set up a free account. It's a seven day free trial offer, uh, costs you $0. You don't have to put a credit card or anything like that on file. Try out the platform. Tell us what you think about it. Um, and if you want to see an example of that, go to linky.com forward slash slow money blues and you'll see, you'll see, obviously you'll see me, Doug, there and you'll see exactly, uh, basically the capabilities of that powerful tool that we have is super awesome and we're going to be uh, developing another SaaS product in the very near future. I can't wait uh, to launch that product. Super excited. So today, today's episode is The Big Fish, episode 301, The Big Fish. Now... This is so funny because, um, per se, I don't like fishing, but I do love winning. So I recently went on a fishing trip with some friends, and Andre caught a whopper of a fish. However, only I, I, me, Doug, only managed to catch several small to medium fish. And I was like, man, you know, I'm looking at Andre's fish, and Andre's fish is really big. And I just have these small to medium, medium sized fish. And I'm like, I, I want the big fish like, I want the big fish like Andre. I mean, everybody wants to catch the big fish, right? You want to say, hey, I, count, I caught me a 20-pounder. You know, I count, caught me a 15-pounder, 17-pounder, and I'm pulling in three and four-pound fish. Um, but this is what I realized, and this is what I got from that life experience. Fishing is a little like life. And sometimes we get the big win. Sometimes we go fish, and I don't know for my fisher, uh, you know, people out there who love to fish, you know, sometimes you get the big fish. But oftentimes we probably don't. Most of us, like in business, we just simply get we get the we get the the small fish. And in business, we get the small wins. And those wins, if they keep accumulating over time, they lead to massive massive success um, if you if you have been rocking with me for a while season one seasons two I told this story about you know I asked a question really can you eat a chicken in one bite or well, maybe let me let me say it like this I will pay you a thousand dollars if you can eat an entire chicken in one bite most people say well uh, Doug, I can't even eat a chicken breast, a chicken leg, a chicken thigh, or a chicken wing in one bite. So how am I going to possibly eat a chicken in one bite? And the answer is you cannot, and neither can I. So what, what am I really saying here? What I'm saying is that oftentimes in business, just like when we go fishing, we want to just do something in one gigantic step. However, life doesn't even work like that. If you think about life and when you were birthed into this earth, you were a baby and you knew nothing and you depended on everybody and everything basically to sustain you. 
And then as you grew older and as you acquired new skills, as you begin to develop what I call your T3E3, your time, talent, training, education, experience, and energy, guess what? You became what we call self-sufficient. And so in business like in fishing, nothing just happens in one large leap, one large step. And you can look at this analogy all over the place. And I believe that all business is small business because everything starts small and then it grows over time if the, the, the person who started it, if they remain consistent and persistent in pursuit of freedom, chances are it's going to grow. And I talk to a lot of uh, local business owners because it is the literally the economic engine across the entire globe. And what I've discovered is they just remain very consistent and very persistent in pursuit of a lifestyle that they had dreamed for themselves. So you remember Andre and the Big Fish? Well, this is what's amazing about this Big Fish, right? We ate that fish the same day, the same day. We, we went back, cut it all up, fried it up, and we ate it all, and the fish was gone. But this is what's even more amazing. The fish that I caught when, you know, my little small fish, my three to five pound fish, guess what? I'm still eating those fish <laughs> three weeks later. Now that's utterly, I know that's, that, that's, that's, ama that's amazing, right? But when you continue to, when you continue to be persistent and consistent in your business, and all of the things that you continue to do and you continue to build your personal freedom success system, you continue to eat from what you have done maybe weeks ago, maybe months ago, maybe years ago, maybe decades ago, because you were intentional. You were very deliberate about building your personal freedom success system. So instead of having a business that's kind of fractured and you can't really see it growing because you're always trying to get the big fish. You just said, you know what? I'm just going to continue to be very, very persistent and consistent. So what do we want to talk about today beyond just catching fish is this. Um, preparation like no other is the key to small wins. Let's just think about what it takes to actually get prepared to go out fishing. Well, you always have to have the right equipment, right? I mean, we have to have a fishing pole, you know, depending on how big a fish you're going to catch, you probably have to look at, you know, the strength of your line. You have to have the proper hooks and you have to have the proper boat. Then we actually have to get there. Then we actually have to go out into the water and we have to make sure we're doing this in the right season. So, so much of this, uh, so much about your business and what you're trying to do is about your preparation. Most of it, believe it or not, is your mental preparation. Your mental preparation, unlike anything else, is the one thing that you are in absolute control of. And one of my favorite books that I've ever read, and it's always sitting here when I'm actually broadcasting, and I'm not getting compensated for this. There's no affiliate relationship or whatever the case may be. People say, well, you know, Doug, you should just have an affiliate. Look, I'm fine, okay? But I just want to let you know, I, you know, first of all, I've read this book, but not only did I read this book, I actually did the book. It's called Think and Grow Rich. And it caused you literally, after reading everybody's like these, their, their stories, which are very inspirational and motivational, hopefully it prompts you and it urges you to build your own personal freedom success system. Because this is exactly what all of these people did. And the author was brilliant in just telling other people's stories to inspire other people to do bigger, better, and greater things. Which, oh, by the way, there's greatness in all of us. The question is, will you unlock it? Well, getting your, mental, your mentals right, getting your psychology right, and understanding exactly what you're up against in the world as it relates to your business venture or building your own personal freedom success system is critically important. Now, listen, if you've been rocking with me for season one and season two, you know you should have said your morning mission mantra. Now, say it with me. I, Doug, uh, take 100% responsibility and accountability for my life and actions. I refuse to blame others for my decisions. If I, if I don't, I give away all of my power, authority, and power given to me by God. So if you don't take responsibility for your mental, don't your mental capacity and what comes in and what goes out in your thought process, you shouldn't expect someone else to do it for you. This is another thing that's really, really key. Execution. So we have preparation. Now we have execution. Look, you can prepare all day, 
But if you never, so we could have done all of these things, Andre and I and all of our friends, we could have done everything we wanted to do in preparation to go fish, whether we're catching big fish or small fish or medium fish. But if we never got in the vehicle and drove to the lake and got in the boat to go fish, all of it was for naught. Now, once we get there, it's time for us to do what? We have to put the bait on the hooks and we have to cast our lines into the lake or to the river or in the ocean, right? And so many, there's so many, so many great ideas, so many of your great ideas and so many great ideas all over the world that are just resting in people's minds. They have literally done all the preparation, but for some reason, there's an impediment there's a blockage to them actually executing. Now, I'm going to tell you, there is not a perfect time to execute your personal freedom success system. There's like, there's not a perfect time, but there is an ideal time. And the ideal time, well, it depends on what you're trying to launch into the marketplace, right? It depends on what product or service that you're doing. Now, I will tell you, like my dad told me, he said, son, I'm going to be quite honest with you. There is nothing new under the sun. Right. So remember before we had uh, the iPhone, how we used to have those old, old phones. And maybe I'm telling my age, which is okay. I think I look pretty good for my age. But remember we had those old landline phones and we still do have landline phones, right? But most of us have these, these smart devices, right? And so a phone and communication is not new. But the way in which we actually communicate has changed by virtue of us being able to communicate with anyone over the entire world, which is really, really awesome, right? So there's really nothing new per se, but maybe you can tweak whatever it is that you're doing or what someone else has done and make it better and then offer it to a new demographic. So execution is the absolute key to consistent small wins. And then lastly, this right here is super duper important. I can tell you um, from season one to season three, oh my goodness. Uh, not only has my vision for Slow Money Blues grown, grown not only has um, uh, how we're going to execute and how we're going to deliver and how we're going to deploy certain products and services grown, just even I have changed. Just by virtue of doing this and, and engaging with people and just understanding what are some of the things that, that just stop us and prevent us and hold us back from our own greatness. Well, optimization is the key to the ultimate win. Always looking to get, basically it's like, I'll use a very simple analogy. You know, I don't know if you've ever, you know, had like, fresh orange juice or you wanted to have like fresh lemon and you wanted to squeeze it, right? There's multiple ways in which to actually get juice out of an orange and juice out of a lemon. You know, you can actually take it and some people put it in the microwave for 10 seconds and then, you know, that kind of releases everything. You cut it open, it's super juicy. Some people just take it and they roll it in, a, in between the palms of their hands. Some people take it and they mash it and they roll it like that and they break up all the pulp and stuff like that and they cut it super juicy and other people take literally a little juicer. You've seen them. That it's like a circle. It's, a, it's a circular and it has a little cone that sticks up and you take you take the, the lemon of the orange and you place it right on top and you just turn it. And what it does is it pushes out all the pulp, all the seeds and all of the juice. And then other people use juicers. I personally, because I, I like to work out, I like the, I like the, I like the, 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 um, the circle deal there and you just push it down there and you actually see it and then you can literally look at the lemon of the orange and you say oh man it's all the way down to the white skin of the orange or the lemon absolutely love it and so i just told you like all those ways right so optimization always looking to see how you can get the most juice <laughs> out of that squeeze, okay? And that's what it's like in business. How can I optimize my business so that I can literally get the ultimate win? Now, I'm gonna tell you, if you've been listening for a while, the ultimate win is freedom. It's literally when your business is running, and although you have to be there, you don't have to be there to make money.
So although I am a two-time combat veteran and I am a retired Marine, I just want to let you know that I am a 100% bona fide digital entrepreneur. I love digital products and services. I don't just love them just to love them. I love them because that is the world that we live in now. And that world is not going anywhere anytime soon. And I'm super duper excited about it. So hopefully you participated and you actually um, you uh, actually went in and took the, the poll question. How do you create small wins for your business? I put a couple of I put a couple answers up there, but they don't have to be your answers don't have to be my answers. But it would be great if you could follow us on all social media at Slow Money Blues. Just kind of hey, look, hey Doug, this is how I create a small wins for my business. And the whole goal is this, right? The whole goal really is to help everybody achieve freedom. I believe if all of us achieve freedom, the world will be a much, much better place. Then you won't have the poor. Then you won't have the people that are broke. Then you won't have the people that feel like they're left behind. Then you won't have the people that, you know, like, you know, I want to take what's yours. But there's a better way if we just come and share. And guess what? There's there, The scarcity thing is a total myth that doesn't even exist. If scarcity does, and, and does my scarcity, there's enough out here for everybody. We can literally all win and everybody be quite content. Now, this is um, um, the homework that I want you to do is I want you to go and I want you to sign up at Free Biz Brains, right? That is our total platform. We're going to have like boatloads of courses and stuff like that. It's called Free Biz Brains. So it's F R E E Biz, B I Z Brains. Go check that out. You'll be able to sign up our gold. We got all types of classes and stuff like that. Super duper great partnership with the SBA. I can't wait. That's going to be awesome. Our goal, like, with no kidding, with that particular brand is to help create 1 million new business owners. Now, what are our takeaways from today? Really, what I want you to do is this. Play the long game so past success leads to more freedom. I'm going to say that again. Play the long game so past success leads to more freedom for you. Play the long game, not the right in your face game. So every opportunity is not a good opportunity. You ever had a client that you work with and you knew you shouldn't have actually done it? And you said, that's a short game because I need this now? But man, if I hadn't made that decision... Imagine how long I would be or how further along my journey in freedom, how much further along I would be. So always play the long game. So past success leads to more freedom. And remember, every opportunity is not a great opportunity. And you only want great opportunities. Now, this is what I want you to do this week. This is the homework. Tell these five small business owners per week how you can help solve their problems. Now, I don't know how you communicate with people, but hey, look, this is a great part. This is a great way in which I actually have an opportunity to tell like the entire world how I can help you. You say, well, how can I help you? I'm glad you asked the question. We'll go to slowmoneyblues.com. And what, whatever you need, I promise you, as it relates to business, it's probably there. We left up our templates from season one and season two as a great resource so you have a uh, how to create a, 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 a business plan, how to create a marketing plan, and we also give you a sample marketing, a sample business plan, and a sample marketing plan. Go and get those resources, right? That's how I can help solve like startups or whatever the case may be. And then if you're stuck and you're struggling, what I want you to do is I want you to take our free business assessment. Go to freebusinessconsult.com, just like it's spelled, click on a link, complete the application, and some will work actually contact you to give you a free 30 business 30 minute business consultation it's it's really that easy and uh if you have a digital dilemma which is probably gonna you know it's gonna play out somewhere as it relates to branding and digital kind of come together um you can also go to slowmoneyblues.com and you can complete the assessment that best fits what you are doing. So I just told you all the ways in which Doug can help you. Now what I want you to do is I want you to do exactly what Doug just did. And I want you to tell people, at least five other business owners, how you can help solve their problems. One of the best ways to do what best ways to do that is just simply ask, hey, what problems do you have? And here's my skill set and this is how I can help you. It's really super, it's really, 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 really that easy. I can't make this up. Now listen, 
Next week is going to be another exciting show. I'm, I'm excited about it. I'm quite sure you're excited about it too. And um, next week's show, you don't want to miss this. You don't want to miss it. In fact, in about five minutes, the, the, um, the, the podcast is going to go live. Next week's show is, give me a second, is my net is too small and I want you to tune in. Also, what I want you to do is I want you to tell um, everyone that you know that is a business owner or thinking about becoming a business owner or just simply wants more freedom in their life, specifically financial freedom, I want you to tell them to tune in to Slow Money Blues every Tuesday from 9.30 to 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. My team and I, we're still kind of debating if we want to do, continue to do this in a live format or if we want to do it more in a pre-recorded. So we may still continue to do this in a live format. I think that works best for our audience. And then what we want to also do is probably do some bonus episodes or whatever the case may be, and people can actually listen to that as well too. Um, like I said, go to our website. We're going to be having a newsletter that we're going to be putting out in Season 3. So I want you to sign up for that and just find out about all the great things that we are doing. Now listen, today is Tuesday. And we are in the eighth month, which means we are in the third quarter of, of a fiscal year 2021. I want us to do one thing. I want us to finish absolutely strong. It is August the 10th today. And we have September, October, November, December. Let's finish strong. I want you to go back. I want you to look at what were your goals for 2021. And I want you to find out if you are achieving all of those goals. If you are not and you need some help, go and fill out that free business console. And I promise you, Doug will be there to help you 100% of the time, all the time. Listen. Uh, I will see you guys next week. Have an amazing, have an awesome week because I know that I am. And like I said, uh, go and look at your goals that you started for 2021. And let's make sure that we're on track to complete those so we can finish strong. All right, I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye.